Hello, so this is going to be my second part of my um, how to create a machine fixture setup for a CNC. So in the last video we created our 560 or my 560 CNC table. Next thing to do, remember that we're using the engineeringtoolbox.com um, version of the standard metric T-nuts and T-slots. Next thing we're going to do is actually make our T-slot. So my table is an M12 configuration, so my literally my T-slot will be a 14 by 22 with an 8mm um, <coughs> within um, above the slot and a 19mm overall height. So there's my CNC table which I've saved in the previous video. So what I'm going to do is close that one off. I'm now going to make a new part and draw my um, T-nut. So this time I'm going to do a sketch on the front plane. Remember, I'm going to keep my datum in the bottom left because it just makes it easier when programming. Um, if the, if the late if on my 560 CNC, if the datum's in the bottom left. So quite simply, I'm just going to do my basic T slot shape. Like so, so I'm just going to draw um, sort of a very basic T slot shape, just showing you different ways of doing it. Trimming out the middle. To make my T slot shape. What I'm going to do now is just give it some basic dimensions so I can basically um, constrain all of my parts. So we know that the T slot bottom um, is going to be 22, my actual T slot on my table is 23, um, therefore, obviously, you need to have half a mil clearance either side. Top of mine is going to be 14. I actually um, manipulated my table to be 15 even though the standard did say 14 because it would have no no clearance at all and it would be an interference fit which is never really good for a fixture. 8 high and obviously then we're 19 overall which will fit in my slot very nicely. Now you probably notice that this is now closed up so if I can grab this line I can shift it this way and make it make it even. So Obviously, we know that this particular distance needs to be 11 from, an, from an, the centre. So, what I'm going to do is I can actually link, do a constraint, link this side, hold down shift, link the other side. A constraint of being equal. And at least then we now know that this line, obviously, it's the same as I mentioned, is exactly the same, rather than having to work out what side. Is and what so that's my basic T um, my T nut shape essentially. Now we're going to go into solid. I'm going to extrude this one out. So we can choose a profile. I'm just going to orientate my page around so you guys can see when it falls into a 3D shape. So we know that the there's our basic sort of dimensions, which is S2 T2 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 um, H2, what it doesn't actually give you is then a, um, an actual length to sort of extrude by. So the common size in industry is about 20 mil. So I'm going to choose 20 mil. So I'm just going to put it 20 mil. Remember, it's got to have an M12 on the top. So um, 20 to 25 mil give you a nice sort of range. I'm just going to do 20, and then if I need to edit it later today, I can always change it. I'm going to go on to the top view. Okay. And what I'm going to do is put a hole in this tapped hole in the center. Choose this surface here. I'm going to make sure that obviously we choose our reference points. So we know it's obviously 20 mil long, so it's going to be 10 mil from one edge. We know the second one is is 22 mil, so it's going to be 11 mil from the edge. Okay, and then I've entered that detail. And what it's done is it's, it's when I press enter, it's accepted that feature. So you're going to come down, edit that feature. Okay, I'm going to choose a tapped hole. Uh, distance is going to be through my whole part, so it's going to take a stud. Come down to my profile, in. I obviously know it's a 12 mil hole, because I've got an M12 slot. I'm going to use a uh, 175 thread because we've got 175 studs. 
class of 6H and right hand cut which is fine. Now when I already take that around I can see I've got a cosmetic thread or an indication of like a thread. When I take that through to my drawing it would then know that when I make my um, T-nut or buy my T-nut it's going to obviously going to have a, to make a thread or include a thread in that particular component. The last one is just to think about these sharp edges you might want to put a bit of um, like chamfer relief on so it doesn't snag on any particular components I'm just going to basically just going to apply a very small chamfer to my edges my components to make sure it doesn't snag anywhere So I'm going to do something like half a mil, not but five mil, just to break off those particular features. And that, I could actually do it also on on my, on my two faces as well. So I'm going to go in and edit that feature. So add. So add those two faces as well. What that's done is just applied some, some type of break that means when I do put this in my T-slot uh, it's not going to catch. Also it's really good to relieve your um, threads as well just to apply that bit of clearance and a bit of snagging. So I'm just going to do that other feature one more time. <clears throat> So, so it gives me a bit of feature relief um, as well. So that's how to make a, a basic T-nut. Uh, the next one we're going to show you is how to basically build a stud and start to look at the washer and nut arrangement. So last thing to do, make sure we're saving it. So I'm going to T-nut. And I always put in brackets the overall size of 20 mil because you might want to have a um, a series of different style T-nuts, maybe 40 mil or 25 mil or 50 or 50 mil, so you know that actually this is a 20 mil in, in, in a length T-nut. And hit save. So the next video is going to show you how to do the stud with the nut and washer configuration. Thanks for watching.